have tried the every single day do something a little witchy. And I will say, that has worked to some effect. I can't do that every single day. Hello, lovely people. I'm doing a little get ready with me here, obviously. To do what? Go to my altar to do the witchcraft. I currently have a little candle spell over to the side, but I don't want to move you, so. It's for creativity, it's going, it's great. Um, I've gotten some writing done today. We have gone out to the woods, and I was trying to get ready for some altar time. And we are joined by Miss Mams over here, who undoubtedly will yell regularly. Let's discuss taking time that is adequate for your witchcraft regularly and scheduling it and holy days with witchcraft and all that so first things first is i'm going to set my hair with this is a little bit of a mix that i do obviously water a little bit of styling gel glaze that is in here as well that i then also mix with some jasmine essential oil for magical benefits and it smells absolutely wonderful the very idea that you know the craft is a, again craft something you do and then paganism and spirituality and time. It's its giving proper time and credence to your spiritual practice, yes. And I've been finding that harder and harder over the years, Miss Mams, why are we yelling? Sort with, deal with my guilt involved with it, you know, just in general, not hate myself for the lack of time and uh, respect I've been able to give my craft over the years. One of the things that I did, I've done some videos recently about ease of magic and getting back into it and just lighting and doing some dirty spells and whatever. And while that is helpful, yes, just like a yelling cat is helpful. You wanna come here? I'll pull your chair closer to mine. Is that helpful? If you're not petting always, mama, you are useless to me. Well, now you am going to lose my train of thought. But an acting and just doing quick off spells, um, just, you know, getting it done, making sure the action is happening, you know, the, the baby step of it all. And while that is helpful, there's a level of what type of intention are you putting into it when it comes to spiritual works, right? Because it's not just getting the herbs together and the crystals and the cauldron and sitting there down silently and waiting for the science to come. The craft, witchcraft, does rely on your intention, on you casting things into it. Just going through the motions isn't gonna get you anything. And I think that's something that I've been worrying more and more about as I realize that I have been doing just that. Sometimes surprised or shocked recently when there is a result from one of my spells, which I should, it should be the opposite. I should be a little more concerned when I'm not seeing results regularly but you should be engaged with it. You should be feeling like, oh, something is happening here. I feel connected as I am sitting down to meditate, as I am reaching out to the gods or the universe or whatever it is you believe in or use in your craft, right? Like it's not supposed to be this whole non-responsive situation. You should feel some sense of connection. I feel the energy is moving through me. I feel like there's a sort of like, boost of like something tingling under my skin usually when I can tell that like something is happening there. And recently I've again just been doing this stuff and not feeling that, not great. Other than like when I go into the woods and like occasionally a spell will kick off and do well. So it got me thinking about how maybe I do need to schedule very distinctive more time. That then further got me thinking about how, I don't know, being raised in America, even under a new age household, the whole idea of Sunday being a holy day or of people taking at least a day out of your week, but Sunday was always an option for them to connect more with their spiritual path if they were feeling so inclined. Organized religion is kind of shit in many ways because invariably some power structure gets in there and people gain power and become shittier humans for some reason every dang time. It's very frustrating. But what's nice about other people organizing and organized religion is the fact that there is a place for you to go to. It is being spiritual all the freaking time every Sunday. There is a scheduled time for the spirituality to be happening and for you to connect with what you consider divine in that way. You know, there might be definitely some guilt associated with not coming as often or every week. But a part of you does know, if you grew up in that situation, that you could always attend. Now, I remember in my early days of witchcraft being intrigued and thinking, okay, so what is the witch's day? You know, if Christians and a lot of people have the Jewish faith has Saturday, then what is the quote unquote witch's Sabbath? And when you look into witchcraft and the witch's Sabbaths, it's always talked about in the sense of 
a lot more holidays and festivals throughout the year, but not a day of the week per se necessarily, right? Like there's very big iterations with the Bible of, you know, on the seventh day God rested or on the sixth night God rested and whatever else, depending on what part of that you follow. Witchcraft and paganism and all that because it's pulling on so many different things. There's not necessarily that dictated to us. You know, we have to kind of, if we're gonna do pick a day of the week, pick our own day and build it into our craft. And I think that might be something I do kind of want to take from the organized religions and pick a day of myself to do because having a holy day once a week is a real good balance. I have tried the every single day do something a little witchy. And I will say that has worked to some effect for the most part, touch and meditate, um, with beyond in general, or I have been able to at least pull a tarot card, you know, like there's something, but it's again, that whole like digging deep into the energetic connection. I can't do that every single day. My schedule just doesn't allow for it. And at first I was like guilting myself over and over and over again. This is not a priority for you, right? The same way I have with like my creativity and stuff where I was like, oh wow, you're not making time for this every single second of your life, then what does that say about how it means to you really? And it's like, just because I'm not doing it every single second of my freaking existence does not mean that it is not important to me. So maybe that's just an inherent part of like our culture these days that's just so deeply buried in is that guilt, that deep seated, you're never doing enough, always be doing more, it's bullshit. And also, <laughs> it's giving myself a, t a clear moment when no, actually this is not the time for other things to impede upon and then holding that boundary on that day as this sacred moment to I think also like give significance to my own craft to myself. I remember when I was new, new into witchcraft back in, was it 2016? Yes, 2016, 2015. I remember feeling this deep insecurity about being into witchcraft and feeling judged, not knowing a lot about it, not have been practicing for very long, you know, and just waiting for if I ever brought it up amongst friends of mine or anyone that I was dealing with, coworkers, et cetera, and so forth, the people I was dating, that they were going to challenge it. And I'd be like, I haven't been doing this for very long. No, there's not really an organization per se that I go to. I started going to like some like lessons and coven meetings and meeting up at shops and stuff with other magical practitioners. So that helped that at least. But that level of insecurity because i was like yeah this is new in my life it doesn't have this very permanent place it's not deep seated in my history it's new it's fresh it's i'm trying to find a way to work it in and that same insecurity has been popping back up as of late and i think it's because of that very reason this witchcraft and spirituality has felt for a little bit a little loose in my life it doesn't feel as this like pillar to my foundation as it previously has been very prevalently there. It's like always there in the foundations, in my creativity, in my day to day, in just little things that I do, because I've just been going through the motions of that. I don't know, it, it feels like sand is underneath that pillar now, if that makes sense, right? And so I hope to be using a day, which is Sabbath day, to at least attend to it. And it might not be a full day, I don't think. It's like similar to in the same way that if Sunday is the day of rest for the Christians, they go to church in the morning and then they probably hit brunch after, right? Like Sunday morning, we all go confess our sins and then quickly go back to sinning by Monday, as so many of them do. Uh, and I think similarly, that's kind of how, not with the doing it and then disregarding everything about it part, but the idea of like, okay, you know, uh, one day of the week in the mornings, Maybe evenings instead, because I do feel something. There's something just so rich about doing meditation and magics and stuff at night. Or in the twilight hours, right? Dawn, dusk, all that. That will be very helpful to my craft and hopefully help me build up some confidence and feel more significant with it, but also not become an overwhelming thing. And I think this is the thing where I fight a bit with the lack of community that being a solo practitioner uh, creates because that is, I think, the other part about organized religion that is, you know, quite nice, actually. The guilt is there. The guilt is a great motivating factor, 
uh, from a group when you aren't attending. You know, having the idea of like other people counting on you or other people, you know, are going to be in attendance and notice that you are absent. Maybe I'll end up doing some like witchcraft, like a Sabbath Saturday or something, which is Sabbath day um, lives on this channel or something while like I'm writing or just doing a little craft or something because a sense of community is very intriguing. I have found with like my writing, I have a writing group now which is extremely helpful for like actually being prolific and doing the work really when you have accountability. It is always that war, right? Where you're like, I want the community, but the commitment is always a thing because so often life gets busy, life gets in the way and you do want to prioritize things while also not overwhelming yourself, which I always tend to do, right? Like so many other people, I am constantly the person who's like, I can do that 7,000 things. No problem. Okay. Being like, oh yeah, corpse, I'm going to commit to this thing and have it be a giant part of my life and I'm so going to do it. And then suddenly the previous obligations I'd already committed to pop up or I realize actually looking at my schedule that there are only 24 hours in the day and eight hours of sleep is required for my brain to function. And suddenly something gets pushed to the wayside or dropped and then continue this guilt spiral because the very thing I tried to commit to more, engage with more, I'm letting myself down, but then also on top of it, the community. Which I know some people in here would immediately just be like, well then you just gotta make sure it's a priority. Like if it's not a priority for you, then like that's very evident. Life is difficult to balance all these things, right? And I'm sorry, our life in America pushes towards us being productive and being productive by that I do mean, are you making money? Are you pro participating some way in capitalism? Uh, if you're not doing those things, then it gets angry at you. And you know, people from some part of your life are going to try to discredit that you're spending time on the thing at all. Or even not people purposely trying to get you to knock off. It's also too that just like people, I, I have good friends now. I have people who want to spend time with me. And sometimes, yeah, they want to do witchy stuff with me, which is great. But there's a lot of other people that I'm with who also have very individualized spiritual paths. So a lot of their spiritual connection and stuff, like me, they do alone. And then we come together and we'll chat and we'll gab about it. But we're not doing the spiritual stuff together outside of holidays. The witch's Sabbath, the days of the wheel of the year, I do get together solstices, equinoxes. For that, yeah, we all came together and that was really fun and great and it felt like that great sense of the community. But that is happening probably four times a year, if not like maybe a few more, you know, with those like scattered ones that are always in like off weird months, like Lamas is always like around Lamas. Um, or Luna Sadat is August 1st-ish time frame. So it's it's not a weekly thing. It's still not enough that gives me into a good habit and feeling connected with my path regularly, right? That makes it tricky. I want to spend time like I am now, getting ready, treating my craft and my engagement with and my spirituality as important and important enough that I become presentable for it. I show up for it the same way I would show up for it. my friends, my job, etc. My Sunday mornings, we'll take it from Christianity, why not? They took enough things from the pagans back in the day, we'll take the Sunday too. Uh, Sunday Sabbath for witches. It's, yeah, we come together, or I come together for myself and my craft, and then also visit my friends. Maybe every once in a while I'll do a live on this channel uh, as a little like morning meditation, tarot, us all like meditating, vibing together. If that's something you guys would be interested in, please let me know in the comments down below because that does seem like really fun, doesn't it? Like just a correlation of at least online space where which people could come together and maybe you don't have a weekly meetup situation similar to me. Too much, a little bit of hairspray to get this to mostly stay this light little bit and we're good. All right, we're gonna go put on something cute because one would never come to church or anything but their Sunday best. So, the witchy best for the altar. Anyway, comment down below if any of this at all resonated with you. Do you have a witchy day of the week? Would you be interested in doing a witchy kind of live situation, maybe at least once a month or something? I would do that on this channel. Just all let's get together and I'll pull tarot, do a little candle magic, whatever, whatever we're vibing with. So, anyway. 
I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.